We are talking with uh, Brett Okamoto from ESPN.com and uh, Nick Kalikas, uh, consultant for DSI, previewing UFC 142 here on uh, SBR TV. All right, now let's look at, uh, at Mike Masenzio and Rusimar Palharis. Rusimar Palharis, and he is a huge favorite here, minus 475. Now, he's obviously, you know, he's, he's got a lot to recommend him, but he does seem to have some lapses in concentration, you know, a little bit of, you know, he's a little bit unpredictable. Um, minus 475? That seems like a little bit big. Nick, where, where'd you open this one? It was around four and a half to one. So okay. the public is betting a little bit more on Par Harris. I mean, the guy's a monster. And if he gets this fight to the floor, which tends to be Masenzio's game plan anyway, Masenzio likes to battle on the right. floor as well. Right. So if he does this in this particular fight, Paul Harris is going to take a limb home with him, you know, unfortunately. So he doesn't want to do this. He wants to try to keep this fight on the floor. But again, Paul Harris is a beast. I think he's a little bit overrated, mm -hmm. uh, personally. I don't think he's, mm -hmm. he's quite as good as everybody thinks he is. Right. I think he's very vulnerable in uh, some aspects of the game still. Mm -hmm. But there's no doubt about it. If he gets you to the floor, you don't want to be in that position. All right, so Brett, what do you think uh, Paul Harris is? Uh, more, of a, more of an unpredictable guy or more of a beast, more of a, more of a monster? You think he's a, a legitimate minus 475 favorite here? Well, he's both equally. He is a monster. Uh -huh. I think that, uh, and we, we, you wanna, if you're trying to look for a, a line to take advantage of as big as this one, you got to ask yourself, like, can the guy finish the other guy? I think me personally, mm -hmm. as a better, would say, um, you know, does it, does a guy who's the, who's the big favorite? I mean, does he have an, an area of weakness where he could get submitted, he could get knocked out, like in a split second? You know, it, right. you don't really expect the underdog in this situation to dominate the fight, but is there an area where he can jump on the guy and finish him and get that upset win? I just don't really see it. Palhares. You're not going to really submit the guy. I mean, he has no limbs to submit. He's just this, this, I mean, his nickname is the tree stump, I think, <laughs> because he's just this, this log of a guy who you can't really latch on to. And he seems to have a pretty good chin and pretty good defense uh, standing up. So I just think that he is the pick, but uh, it, like you guys are saying, he's very unpredictable. So you don't really want to lay a ton of money on him either because he's, it, it sounds crazy, but he, he, he might just stop fighting in the middle of a fight. You know, right. He might jump on the top of the cage when the referee hasn't called the fight. I mean, mm. these are things that we've seen him do. So I, this is a fight that I would probably stay away from. Hmm. But in those kinds of situations, a lot of times, right, like maybe, maybe the actual, the straight vanilla lines are, are, might be dead on, but there might be more value in, in one uh, prop or, or the other. Uh, so if you wanted to bet on Palaris but wanted to uh, sort of narrow it down and, and try to uh, bet him on a prop, well, how would you take it? Um, I mean, I think he'll submit uh, Masencio. Masencio really hasn't, um, you know, done anything really so far in the UFC. I, I think that um, Pajaros will be able to put this fight where he wants it. He'll be able to get to the, get it to the ground on his terms. So, um, you know, depending on when you think it'll happen, which I don't have an answer exactly for that, but uh, I think I think Pajaros will win this fight by submission. Mm.